my gosh, you guys, I have been promising for the past month now that I'm going to share my two new rescue horses with you. And yes, that is kind of what today's video is about, but I thought you might be curious about the whole adoption or rescue process, especially if you are looking to get a horse for yourself. And I thought it would be kind of fun to go over five reasons why you should consider maybe adopting or rescuing a horse for your next horse. It's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to a new video. And yeah, I wanted to share a little bit more with you about the two horses that I brought home. Their new names are Timon and Pumbaa. And we actually have a dog named Mufasa too. So are you sensing a theme? Yeah, I think our household really likes the Lion King. But I thought I would dive a little bit deeper into this because if you're like me and you're looking for a horse and you're trying to save up money to get a horse, a lot of the horses that are available from private sellers, like right now, today's prices, the, the prices are just, they're just so high. I think, for example, one of the horses that I looked at, the very first horse I looked at, I did love her. She was awesome. She was $3,000 and her price had been dropped by $3,000. So the seller was originally asking $6,000 for a green broke horse. The second horse I looked at, she was okay, but she was $2,500. And if I was looking for a horse to be completely trained and, you know, ready to go, I was looking at anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000. And that's just for a great horse, nothing spectacular, but something that was broke really well. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a lot of money. Holy cow, the horse prices are just, they're crazy. That's just nuts especially when you look at it from the logistical side of it, especially when there are so many really great horses that are just looking for a second chance. So another really viable option for you might be to check out a rescue. And you might be thinking, oh, I don't know if I really want to, you know, rescue a horse or take on somebody else's, you know, broken horse. I'm sure that there are some horses out there like that, but I can tell you from the rescues that I went and visited while I was in my horse buying process, I was very impressed with all of the rescues that are located around me, which is here in Colorado. And I'm sure you'll find the same where you live. So don't write off rescues. In fact, I'm gonna give you five reasons of why you should consider adopting a horse from a rescue for your next equine companion. Number one, of course, is the affordability factor. Owning a horse for any of us is definitely a dream come true. But like I've told you, horses can be expensive. You have to consider all of the costs that are involved in having a horse of your own, from the purchase price, to the veterinary care, to the upkeep, the feeding. The costs do actually add up pretty substantially but one way to keep that initial upfront cost lower is to consider a rescue horse. Have you considered that? Now, rescue horses offer a fantastic opportunity for those of us on a budget who still want to experience the joy of owning a horse. Rescues are not looking to make a profit. They're looking to find suitable forever homes for the horses that they're taking care of. And you can find rescue horses for as little as $200. The cost of each horse at a rescue will usually correspond to considerations of the horse that you're considering purchasing. For example, the rescue that I got my horses from, their prices are anywhere from $200 to $1,800, depending on the horse. Now, that is a lot more affordable to look at horses that are in the $200 to $1,800 range, at least in my opinion, rather than looking at horses that are anywhere from $3,500 on up. And like I said before, the purchase cost of the horse is just a drop in the bucket of what it's going to cost you to keep that horse. So I think it's a good idea to keep that in mind when you're looking for a horse of your own. Reason number two to consider a rescue horse is the variety of horses that are available. Rescue horses are often overlooked by potential buyers because they, they feel that all rescue horses may have a history of abuse or neglect. That's not always the case. Or they might think that rescue horses can't really be anything special. They're looking for a certain breed or a certain color of horse. But I have to tell you that rescue horses come in all breeds, all ages, and all sizes, and all levels of training. You can find 
anything from thoroughbreds to purebred quarter horses, even draft horses that are available for adoption. And depending on what you're looking for, whether it's a horse just to take out on the trail or even compete with, believe it or not, you can find these type of horses at a horse rescue. And you know, many people don't really realize that rescue horses can make great companions as well as riding partners. The rescue horses are often available and, and like I said earlier, rescue horses are often available at a significantly lower cost than buying a horse from a private seller or even a breeder. Many rescue organizations are a not-for-profit, meaning they aren't in this to make money. Their goal is to find forever homes for the horses that they take care of. By adopting a rescue horse, you're not only saving money, but you're also giving a very deserving horse a second chance at life. Reason number three, the emotional bond. Now it is true that some rescue horses may need extra care or special attention, but at the same time, they can also be very rewarding to work with. Many rescue horses have a really strong desire to please and they form deep bonds with their owners. And yes, there have been studies done that state that horses don't bond with their owners. You know, honestly, I disagree with that. After working with horses for 40 years, it may not be like an emotional bond, like how we have with our children or our significant others, but honestly, I feel like there's a bond there. Horses are, after all, herd animals, and in every herd, there needs to be a leader. You can be that leader for your horse. Reason number four to consider adoption for your next horse, the training potential and the experienced volunteers that work at the rescue. Many rescue horses already have a good deal of training that they've already gone through. And the volunteers that work at the rescue are very good at determining what type of horse for a potential owner. Meaning they are very experienced and good at finding the perfect horse for you. Now, if you take, for example, my horse, Timon, when I went to the rescue for the first time, I told them my experience level and what I was looking for. And they had already figured out that they had the perfect horse for me to try, and that was Timon. And when I wanted to try out another horse, they, you know, they let me do it. But you know what? They were right. They had picked out the perfect horse for me. And I am so glad, so glad that I let their experience guide me in the selection of my horse. Now you're not gonna find that in a private sale. Now, maybe if you're working with a trainer, you might have that happen. But it's been my experience that visiting a rescue and working with a rescue, it really is a good experience. And even though I went with one rescue, there was another rescue here in Colorado and they were just as awesome as Drifter's Hearts of Hope, like my shirt says. And they were the same way. They have two trainers that are there on the premises and they really help evaluate you as a rider to determine what level you are and what kind of horse is gonna work best for you. These people are very experienced and honestly, they have the best interest of the horse in mind. So if you are a good match for a rescue horse, you might get to take them home. And they really wanna make sure that the horses get the best homes possible. And before I decided on the two horses that I brought home, like I said, I did look at several other horses. And those people, they were private sellers and they were ready to give me the horse, you know, just like that, just give them the money and then they give me the horse. Which I guess, you know, that's okay. But for me, I really like the fact that I went several times to the rescue to make sure that this was a good match, to make sure that everything was right and that these were the horses for me. And you know, rescue horses may have come from a bad situation, but they could just be retiring from their former type of work that they did. They might have been used for specific disciplines like dressage, jumping, or even Western riding. And one of my favorite things about the rescues is they give you as much information about the horse's past as they can and as they have. They take incredible care of these animals while they're in their evaluation process. And before the horses are put up for adoption, I mean, they've <laughs> done everything. So they're basically doing the hard work for you. They're doing all of the legwork. And again, depending on the horse and the right training approach, these horses can be brought back into work and become a wonderful riding partner or even just a companion. Remember, horses are herd animals, so they really like to have a buddy. That was why I brought Pumba home to be with Timon. And reason number five, you are making a difference. Like I said earlier, when you open your heart and your home to a rescue horse, you are giving them a second chance at a happy and healthy life. You're not just getting a horse, you're saving a life. And building a relationship with a rescue horse can be a very rewarding experience. 
just like any horse that you bring home, you want to have a good relationship with them, right? And then knowing that you have played a part in giving them a chance, it's there's no better feeling. So like I said, if you're considering looking for a horse, I would really encourage you to check out a rescue and consider adoption. By buying a rescue horse, you are contributing to important work of rescue organizations. Your adoption fee helps to fund the ongoing efforts to save and rehabilitate horses in need. Honestly, it's a win-win situation. Now, owning a rescue horse might come with some challenges, but honestly, anytime that you have a horse in your life, there's going to be challenges, whether you bought the horse from a private seller or from a rescue. And it's important to consider different factors that your potential new horse may have, such as their background, their health, and any special needs that they might have. But with the right care and commitment, <laughs> the reward is immeasurable. So, are you up for the challenge? Are you ready to embark on this amazing journey and add a rescue horse to your family? That's great! Be sure to do the research on all of the potential rescue organizations that might be in your area. And be patient and take the time to find the perfect match for you. So, it looks like your next step is going to be to outreach some rescues set up some appointments, and go visit some horses. I think that you will be so glad that you did. Well, that's about it for today's video. And if you enjoyed today's video, why not subscribe? I've got lots of other videos, and I can't wait to show you in the future how Timon and Pumbaa are doing. They are awesome, and I am so glad, so glad, and so lucky that I was able to adopt them and bring them home. If you're on your own journey looking for a horse, I wish you the best. Try to be patient your perfect horses out there, and I'll see you in the next video.